Seeing this life is not befitting. It's a punishment. Why? Oh, well, you get sick, earthquake. You don't want to live for long like this. You have children, children have children. You suffer in stress. You have to do many things. So look how Allah is wise. Eternity is good for paradise. As for the evil ones, eternity in Jahannam. Because the greatest sin against Allah will it turn away from him. You understand? That's why you have the choice now to accept Islam, to reject it, to worship your God. And I always mention this example, sister. Imagine you are in a house. May Allah forbid you wake up and there's a fire everywhere. All right? You try your best to save yourself. You try and you couldn't. You gave up. You know it's over. I'm dying. I came and I saved your life. What would you say to me? If I saved your life, what would you say to me? Thank you. <laughs> would you remember me all the time? Yeah. I saved your life. No doubt you're going to remember that brother Shamsi who saved my life. So why would not, why would I not remember and be grateful to the one who gave us a life for free? You know? That's why, you know, remember earlier on I mentioned about the gift. Uh, likewise, if you want to worship your creator, be grateful to him, worship him the way he wants. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ حُنَفَاءَ وَيُقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَيُؤْتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَذَلِكَ دِينُ الْقَيِّمَةِ They have not commanded except to worship Allah sincerely. What is sincerely? For his sake. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتَ O Muhammad, be upon righteousness the way you have been commanded, not the way we feel. You understand? And you know, Sorry, you want to ask questions? I was going to ask, yeah. do you think that you love, you, do you think you're in Islam out of fear or love? Like fear of the Creator or love for the Creator? No, Islam is based upon love and fear and hope. Justice. I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I fear his punishment. And I hope that he will forgive me and enter me to paradise. See, for me, I get worried that maybe my intention is out of a selfish way because I want to make sure that I'm protected. But like, it worries me that I will get... Because you know if, uh, if a Muslim leaves Islam, yeah. it's worse than somebody who is atheist. Is that right? Is yes, that because right? he knew the truth. Because he knew the truth. Yeah, and he turned away from it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So for me, that kind of... The more I know them, the more yeah, anxious danger. I get because yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe I'm going to reject it and then I'm going to be the one that's actually worse off than an atheist. Yeah, but you know, sister, look what I have to understand. I was speaking to... Many people come to me said... Not many people. Some people say... Why Allah is going to punish people in the hellfire? I said, no, the question should not be this. Why Allah is going to punish people in the hellfire? You should ask the people, all people, why you want to go to hellfire? That's the question should be. Because if you, like for example, one person came to me. He said to me, um, yes, it, it was, a, it was a, a, a guy in the service bush. He said, he said, he said, brother, why Allah is going to punish us forever? I said, do you believe that? He said, yes. I said, so save yourself. If you don't believe that, so the problem is not going to punish us or not. The problem is not even believe in God. So it will be a different topic, understand? That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us. You know, even how Allah mentioned how he's going to punish us in details in the Quran, the scholars mentioned that it's a mercy from Allah to show us that his anger is severe and punishment. So if you know that, turn away from it. But Allah knows you're weak. So if you're a Muslim and you do evil acts, better than a non-Muslim. Why? First, how? Because the biggest... And the worst evil act of worship when you turn away completely from your God. You know? Because like I said, your own existence by its own virtue. While we're speaking, we are benefiting from everything. Our eyes, from our from the air, from the oxygen. If you go to hospital, you'll be charged for the oxygen. You know then they charge, they charge you. Allah is giving it to you for free. Everything's for free. You know, Allah's blessing. Look at that, you know. But you choose to turn away from it, except it goes back to arrogance. You understand? So don't let the shade, because remember, sister, we have to understand. It's good to fear for yourself and to check your intention. Even me teaching in front of the people, I fear for my intention. That's, that's how the Muslim should be. You have some a, a Muslim characteristic, no doubt. But also, Satan can use that thing against you. For example, in Islam, we're not allowed to show off. So sometimes maybe you're praying, in the mosque and someone's sitting down and you are praying satan will come will come to you so i pray quick pray quick because you're showing off the score has mentioned no prolong it more longer that's how you that's how you defeat satan because satan remember satan's been around i don't i don't know how many years but he's very experienced 
He's very experienced. He knows how to get into every individual. What was made first? The I don't know if this is a stupid question, but no, hell. no, no. Ask you know. If I know, I know. If I don't know, I don't know. Uh, is, was hell created first, or, well, or was hell created for Shaitan? Khan? Was uh, heaven just the place before people were being like, like people were on the path, and then Shaitan came in and no, hell was created before. Was before that. Yeah, before when Allah created the hellfire. Then Allah, because even in Islamic, we believe there were people before us. Some scholars mentioned there were jinn. Remember in Surah Al-Baqarah, the angel said to, the, uh, to Allah, why are you going to create people that are going to cause mischief upon the earth? The scholars mentioned because there were people doing that. Some scholars mentioned there were jinn. But some scholars mentioned could be different creation. Allah knows best, you know? So Allah created the hellfire and created paradise. At the same time? I don't know which one's first. I don't know if someone knows can teach me. Uh, uh? It's not made clear it's to us, yeah, that's what I know. So when he created paradise, he said to the angel Gabriel, go look at it. He went, he said, oh Allah, every person you're going to create is going to come here. Then he created, I think paradise first, you know, if I do remember. Then he came, go to the hellfire. Then he went to the hellfire, he said, no one's going to come inside. Then Allah surrounded paradise with that which we dislike, but in reality is good for us. And he said, go and look at it now. He went and he said, I don't think no one's going to come inside. To paradise. He said, go look at the hellfire. Allah surrounded with that which attempt us. And Jugabri said, everyone's going to come inside. Then Allah said, as for paradise, is a place of my mercy. As for the hellfire, is a place of my anger. You know, many people say, why there is evil here? Why? Allah is the most wise, the most just. Allah creates place of pure good. Some people, they, would, they want paradise on this life. No, that go and guess Allah's wisdom. Allah creates paradise, which is pure good. Allah created the hellfire, which is pure evil. Then Allah created this life, evil and good, and it creates us. So it's upon us, if we really want good, choose, choose the way to lead you to good. But if you want evil, choose the way to lead you to evil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Inna hadaynahu sabila, imma shakiran wa imma kafura. We guide him, we show him the, the two paths, the evil path and the, 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 the good path. But it's up to him, you know? So Allah is the most wise. That's so, why Allah says we are the best of creation because Allah has given us our own conscience to make that decision. Whereas creations like the angels, they were only created to worship Allah. That's all they know. So when Allah created us, the angels asked, why did you make this creation when, like he said, the creations before created mischief upon the earth? Allah says, you know, I know of which you do not know. Yeah. And he presented amongst the angels items or objects. Again, it's not clear. And he said to the angels, name these things. The angels said, oh, but we don't know. You only taught us of what we know already, and we seek more from what you tell us. Then he asked Adam alayhi salam, can you name these things? And Adam alayhi salam named all of them. And he goes, see, you, I know of what you do not know. And that's when the angels prostrated, not out of worship to Allah but out of respect when Allah ordered the angels to prostrate. No, it's, to out, no, it's out of worship Allah to Allah, uh, to Allah but Allah out of respect, respect to Adam. Adam. Yes, so it's out of worship. Way. From our, to our, so, because why they do it? Yeah. yeah, so that's why we are the best of creations because we have our own conscience to make our decisions of good and right at the end of the day. And we have to remember this life is only. I don't know about the best of creation because, but, because you know, they, they, some say uh, the angels, but the some angels, say that we are because of the prophets and messengers. But, but Allah knows best. Some scholars said there's no point saying we are the best or the best. But so, can I, can I ask you a question, a serious question? <laughs> if, I think you know a lot about Islam, yeah? What is stopping you? I mean, I don't mind asking me questions, yeah? Mm. But what is stopping you to accept Islam? What is the barrier that you think that if that is a, go is a valid reason for me to not accept Islam now? Because I want to accept now Islam. Because I will get a good deed, by the way. You're not going to give me no money, but I will get a good deed. But it's good for you as well, you understand? And it's the best thing. Like I said to you, my wife is a revert, you understand? What is a valid reason that you think if I do die today, man, I forbid. Like I said, you don't know when you're going to die. Don't let the Satan stop you. And the Prophet Muhammad told us, when a person wants to become a Muslim, Satan will come to them. He will put many barriers. Your family, you're not ready, you know, uh, or, or it's not the, the best time, and all of that, yeah? And none of this reason is a valid reason before our Creator, our Lord. Remember, when I said to you, if I do save your life, if you are in the house and there's a fire, you would not say to me, Shamsi, give me time before I thank you. You would thank me straight away. You know, straight away you say, thank you, Shamsi. Likewise, you know, now you know the truth. I mean, you should accept it straight away. And step by step start learning. Understand? I think it's because the, 
like many religions, like God is the center of the religion. Like in Christianity, in like in Islam, in Judaism, like I find it hard to know whether Islam is the correct one because I believe the thing that stopped me being a Christian was the Bible because I found it hard to believe a lot of what was in the Bible. So then I rejected it and then I still believed in God in my heart but I didn't have like a, a religion to kind of follow, like to lead me. But like I'm more than finding out about Islam, I like it, but then I haven't even looked at like um, other religions. Other religions. So what if I'm just being naive and following Islam okay. for that? Well, I would say to you, that's a good question. There's over, I don't know how many religions out there, yeah? Allah, you don't have to learn about every religion, okay? Why I'm saying that? When you look at Islam, because Allah is the most wise, you know, Allah knows that our life will not uh, enable us to study every religion or philosophy, yes? That's why when Allah sent down Islam, or Islam, Quran and so on, He gave us so clear proofs to come to a conclusion with certainty Islam is the truth. And there is no doubt if Islam is the truth, whatever opposes it, it must be the falsehood. For example, if I say my, my brother here, Jamal, Jamal is in speaker's corner right now recording me. Regardless of how many people make philosophical ideas or philosophical arguments, Jamal is in China swimming under the water, I'm not going to accept it. And I don't have to spend my time to study their reasons. Understand? That's so why I bring you back to my point. My point here is, when Allah created you, He created us with something called universal tools. What is our universal tools? It's our something called Al-Fitra, natural inclination. And Al-Aql, Salim, sound reasoning. And our senses. These tools, when you come, when you, that's why you gravitate towards Islam. Why? You gravitate towards Islam, not just you. Majority of people, remember, look, let me, let me make something clear to you, which I'll show you why Islam is the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a huge war against Islam. There's what? A huge war. War against Islam online. You know, in the media, it's crazy. In Australia, every single day, either 50 articles or lesser speaking bad about Islam and the Muslims. In Britain, there's many articles too. In France, in Belgium, in Germany, in, the, in, in I was gonna say New York, in America. This is a huge war that has been waged against Islam. If it was waged against any religion or philosophy, that religion would, be, would die. There is no war against Christianity and Christianity is dying. Yeah. Like what Judaism. Judaism is a tribal god. Okay? It's a god that cares about the Israelites, the rest of the people, you just serve Israelites. Yeah? Which doesn't make sense to any human being. Okay? So now, when you look at Islam, even there is a, there is a huge war against Islam, the fastest growing religion on the face of the earth and especially in the western world is Islam. Who's doing the job? We as the Muslims, we have to speak the truth, we are weak in comparison with the weapons and the media that our opponents possess. However, Allah mentioned that in the Quran system, 1400 years, It is Allah who sent He's a prophet with Islam in order for Islam to prevail all other religions, even if a disbelievers dislike it. So how, especially women, they found that in, in America, in Britain, America and Germany and France, majority of reverts are women. And of course they say women oppress, uh, Islam oppress women. So I'm saying that me myself, when I observe that with my own eyes and I look back to the Quran, it's a prophecy. I say, that's unbelievable. Look at the war. Look at the war against Islam, and Islam is spreading. People accept Islam. You know, even now, like I said, influencers online, famous people, inclined towards Islam. Because sister, the war that is happening now against human nature, what Islam side, which when I say human nature, human nature inclined towards Islam. Islam goes in line with our human nature. That's why they they were fighting a war against Islam because they have noticed the only religion that is standing firm and it's not backing down and it's fighting back it's Islam against the evil ones that's what increased my faith to say Islam is the truth that's one of them but I will give you something which will give you certainty it's, pay attention to this yeah I'm sorry for taking your time by the way no, yeah? I came here, so. thank you very much for you giving me your time so Islam came to preserve five things yeah Islam came to preserve five things Islam came to preserve religion what does that mean it means in Islam we're not allowed to pray to any Thing beside Allah, even when we're not allowed to pray to Prophet Muhammad. 
We're not allowed to be atheists, agnostic, polytheists, none of that. And I will tell you the reason, uh, the outcome of not believing in the true religion. So Islam, uh, uh, we have to preserve Islam. Secondly, Islam, so the outcome of pre preserving Islam and worshiping the true God, you start preserving your intellect. That's why in Islam, anything that harms the intellect is forbidden. Drugs, alcohol is forbidden. Is coffee, because coffee also affects the intellect. We'll come to that. that. We'll come to it, yeah. <laughs> I'll come to coffee. I'm Algerian, you know, we love coffee. You know, you can't tell me about coffee, yeah? Please. I drank, I drank too today, so. <laughs> yeah, see, we love coffee in Algeria. I think if you, if you stop Algerian man, a coffee comes out, no blood. They drink too much coffee. <laughs> they are strong. My mother, I remember, strong coffee. Black, strong, you know? No sugar. No sugar. Like, you know, she cleaned the, the whole area. <laughs> you give her power, mashallah. So, Islam, so anything, that, anything that harms intellect is forbidden. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. That's why gambling and interest is forbidden. Fourthly, Islam came to preserve land. No, that's uh, 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 yeah, Islam came to preserve lineage and the families. That's why fornication, adultery is forbidden. Lastly, Islam came to preserve life. That's why anything harms our body, our life is forbidden. Killing innocent people is forbidden. Committing suicide, sorry, committing suicide is forbidden. So look at when you worship the true God. The outcome of that, you have a good society. These very healthy things for our society. The opposite of that, which majority of our societies allow it, not just allow it, glamorize it and propagate it, alcohol, destroy us individually and collectively. Gambling, likewise. Interest, make the rich richer, poor poorer, is a slavery. Likewise, fornication, adultery, destroy families. Likewise, what is it? and this evil thing goes back to what? To not worship in the true God. But yet, there is some people are benefiting from these vices, from alcohol, gambling, interest, you know, this prostitution and so on. Majority of times are those who are in power. And when I say those who are in power, it's not necessarily, I'm, uh, uh, I'm speaking about the politicians. You know, those who are behind, you know, those in power charging, big companies, bankers and so on. They are making money from it. So they look at Islam as a threat for their business. Even though they know Islam is coming with a legislation that is good for us individually and collectively. But because they are evil, they don't care about humans, they care about money. So what they're going to do, because they have lots of money, they're going to utilize the media to make us look bad, to make Islam look bad, even though I've just broken it down, that Islam is good for us individually and collectively. So the question you ask yourself, how, man, how this man, Prophet Muhammad, who existed 1,400 years ago, who couldn't read and write, he came in the middle of Des, from the middle of Des Mecca at that time. There was no civilization around him, you know. He came with his perfect way of life. On the other hand, we have these politicians, sociologists, scientists, studied in the best universities around the world, yet they cannot resolve the problems we are facing. Because Prophet Muhammad, his religion that he came with, with his five universal necessities that come to preserve, came from the Almighty Creator, who what's good for you and for me and for everyone. You know, when Allah legislates something, there's no evil desires involved. There's no bias involved. But when the humans is, uh, uh, legislate something, there's evil desires. I'll give you an example of that. I can go to shop next to a shop off license. I can sell drugs, yeah? The police will come arrest me, yeah? They will not arrest the shopkeeper. Even though what I'm selling, it causes the same, what the shopkeeper in the off license is selling alcohol, it causes the same harm that I'm selling, the, the drugs cause. Likewise, majority of crimes is being carried out because of alcohol. So why I'm going to get arrested and a shopkeeper who's causing the same harm is not getting arrested? Because from alcohol, they're making a lot of money. There's high taxes. You see, that's why when you, have, when you, when you, when you do not follow God, you contradict yourself. That's why the Islamic Sharia, you know, and I, let me clarify something. When we say Sharia, I'm not talking about these uh, Muslim ignorant ones who say we come in here, take over the country, and force everyone to do this or that. That's not Islamic teaching, by the way. That is a lie which the media propagates. Islamic Sharia, take care of Sharia law. Sharia. You don't say Sharia law because Sharia is a law.